Whoa! I'm in the OBS system. Look at that, I'm made out of all ones and zeros. <laughs> I'm in the program, I'm in the matrix. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. When you start, you begin with OBS, OBS. The first three letters just happen to be OBS. Hi, I'm Amy Fernandez. And I'm the Bay. And on this channel, you'll find tips, tricks, strategies, and how to when it comes to the app Musically and Lively. So if you're new here, welcome and consider subscribing. Also, make sure you guys check out some of our other videos as we also do DIYs and comedy skits. Have you been dying to stream on Lively using your PC but haven't been able to figure out the OBS software? In this video, I'm going to be going through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up OBS and stream to Lively. We'll be covering the following. Downloading and installing the software, a 360 degree tour of the OBS, as well as the settings you need to use for streaming to Lively. Let's get started. First, go to the OBS website and download the free software. I've included a link to the software in the description. Once you have completed the download, install the software on your desktop. It should look something like this and should only take a few minutes. While you wait, why not go make a musically and maybe grab a snack? You're so freaking cute. I think I could get used to you. Oh, oh. Got me like ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And where did you come from, babe? Please don't tell me you're fake. That's an interesting musically. Now it's time to launch the software. When you first start it, it will look something like this. Let me show you the few areas you will need to be familiar with to get things going. This big dark section is your canvas. This area is what people will see when you are streaming. On the bottom left, you will find your scenes. Next section is where you'll find your sources. The next is your mixer. This is where all your audio controls are. No, 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 that doesn't work. My voice doesn't do it. The last section on the bottom right corner is your controls. We're going to spend quite a bit of time here. Let's get started by adjusting the canvas. To do this, we need to get to the settings. There are two ways to get to the settings. First one is on the bottom right in the control section by selecting settings. Or you can click on the file option on the top left, then select settings. Once you're in the settings, you need to navigate to the video section. In this section, you will change your canvas output resolution. For the base and output resolution, select 640 by 360. Then change the common FPS values to 20. This will change the widescreen HD resolution to standard widescreen. Next, we will change the audio bitrate. Go to the output section for the video bitrate. You should use 600. This is a recommended bitrate provided by Lively. The audio bitrate should be at 96. Once you have changed your settings, make sure you select apply then hit OK. It is important to click Apply so that all the changes take effect. Now it's time to create a scene. Before we create a scene, it is important to understand what a scene is. Think of a scene as a blank canvas. A blank canvas needs to be populated with objects and things. To create a scene, go to the bottom left corner of the OBS software. That's right, all the way in the section called Scenes. Ooh. There are two ways to create a scene. You can either click on the little plus icon located at the very bottom, or you can right click on an empty space and select Add. Now that we've created a scene, or a blank canvas, it is time to populate it with sources or objects. To add a source, you go to, yep, you guessed it, the source section. Before we create a source, it's important to understand what a source is. Think of a source as the object or the paint in a blank canvas. If a scene is a blank canvas, then the sources are the colors and objects that you put into that canvas. To add a new source, you click on the little plus icon located on the bottom left, or right click on an empty area, and then select add. A little pop-up menu will appear that looks a little like this. For now, let's just add the important things like a webcam or an image. From the list of options, select the video capture. A new window will appear. There are two options. You can either create a brand new device or add an existing one. You will probably have to create a brand new one. Make sure you label your brand new device something like webcam. Another window will appear that looks like this. Now you will need to select the webcam that you would like to use. The software will recognize the webcam that's connected to your computer or the built-in webcam. If you only have one webcam on your computer, then you only have one option. Please note that you want that frames per second or the FPS to match your output frames per second. You might have to change this manually to 20. Now let's add an image. To add an image, you just click on the plus icon located on the very bottom of the source section 
or you can right click on an empty area and select add. The same pop-up menu will appear. Select the image option and add a new image. A new window will appear that looks a little bit like this. Select the create new option and give it a name like my logo or bananas. Ba, 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 na, na. And click OK. A new window will appear that looks like this. Click on the Browse option and find the picture that you wish to add, then select OK. Now that you have added a webcam and an image, let's go and resize them and put them in the right places. As you can see, I have the webcam selected in my sources area. You can tell this because the name of the webcam is Highlight. The webcam video on my canvas has a red border with little red circles on the corners and the sides. To resize the webcam, I can click on the circle and drag the cursor to the size that I want, and then release. I can do this with the image as well. Note that the image is on top of the webcam. I can change the order of the layers by dragging them in the sources section. Now that we have added a few sources, let's go live. You will need a second device to host the stream. On your second device, launch the Lively app and select the little plus icon located at the bottom. Then select the More on the bottom right. Then select Broadcast from PC. The following menu will appear that will include some instructions. Type in your Lively title and select Next. The following instructions will appear. This will include a URL address as well as a password that you will use on your OBS system. Select Send to PC. This will draft up an email that will populate with all the information seen in the previous menu. Type in the email address you wish to send this to, then select Send. You will receive an email from Lively. To input these settings, go to OBS, select File, then Settings. Go to the Stream option, change your stream type to Custom Stream Server. Copy and paste the URL into the settings in OBS. Then copy the password and paste it into the stream key in OBS. Make sure you do not include any extra spaces or characters in your password. Select Apply, then OK. Once you have added all of those things into the settings, then you can select Go Live. And guess what? You're now streaming to the world. Hello world, I'm live. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Now it's time for the question of the day, and it comes from Jim Rat Eden, and she asks, my question is the settings through the OBS PC Lively. I can get the full screen to show in the entire phone. What settings are needed? Thanks, Jim Rat Dev. Good question. Here are the settings you want to use. Go back to your settings, and in the video, change your base and output resolution to 1080 by 1920. You're essentially changing to, from this resolution to this resolution. Hope that helps, guys. Leave a comment asking your question for next video. I think I'd do something cooler than that because that was not cool.